Hi, I'm Howie. And this is Bobby. Hi. Hear me out. I just thought it might be fun to do something a little different, like maybe have a contest. Well, what kind of contest? What about a dance contest, huh? So you mean during the show, the people at home should dance? Yeah. Well, what can they win? Nothing. Boy, Howie, you really know how to put on a show. Thanks. Okay, everybody, start dancing! Don't you know? Oh, Bobby, now cheer up. Captain Squash will be on any minute now. I never have mom to myself anymore. We'll be back with more daring detective adventures after these important messages. I like to keep busy. Every morning, I run a marathon. <laughs> Serve a gourmet breakfast to my family and go to my incredibly challenging job. But when my little boy gets a cough, <coughs> my world comes to a screeching halt. Wow! That's why I rely on cough no more. That'll work for me. <laughs> Mom! I don't feel so good. Oh, let's get you all comfy here and you stay put. I'll be right back to check your tip. Okay, Mommy. Told you it would work. <laughs> Uncle Ted! Hey, Babo! Heard you were feeling under the weather. Under the weather? Oh, oh don't worry about it, Babo. <laughs> These frosted chili chips ought to cheer you right up. Oh, ugh, no sweetener. <laughs> oh, just enough to cut through the bitter taste. <laughs> oh, starting to blob up. I uh, need something to stir it with. Uh, stay put, Babo. <laughs> Now that's a cup of joe. Ted, check Bobby's temperature, will ya? I'm changing the twins. No problemo, sis. Whoa, that's a fever. Oh, you really are sick, Bobbo. I am? Hey, I was waiting for Mom. You're not Mom. 
Gee, guess we can't fool you, Dweebenheimer. Wow. You mean I finally get to play Sea Battle Command with you? Time out! Time out! I've got to set up the board first. Ready for our torpedo tubes! Aye, aye, Commander Bobby. I've got you now, Eric. <laughs> Make your move now, Dweebo. Game's over, Dweebay. You took too long to move. You know what's nice here? Seeing my boys playing together. Derek, would you get Bobby another fruit cup? <laughs> Dork. This isn't exactly going like I planned. Ew. Like, do you believe she actually said that to him? Ouch! Kelly, could you... Bobby, can you not see that I am on the phone? Just because you're sick doesn't mean the whole world revolves around you, you know. Kel, make sure Bobby's vaporizer is on, okay? Sure, Mom. No way! What a geek. Okay, so like, what did she say? Uh-huh. So like, what did he say? Stupid Well, what's the problem, Bobo? Oh, you look a little panicked there, buddy. <laughs> what's with the fog? <laughs> it's kind of stuffy in here. <laughs> Get some air, that's... No, nah, that's better, huh? Just wanted to make sure you're doing okay before your dad and I hit the links. You know something, Uncle Ted? I think I really am sick. Oh, look, being sick isn't so bad. I mean, so what if Kelly and Derek get to go to the Corner Carnival and you don't? The Corner Carnival? Yeah, it's a nightmare. Remember last year? <laughs> you threw up on the brain scrambler, and then you got lost in the hall of mirrors. Nobody could find you for hours. <laughs> oh, boy, and I thought that line for the bathroom would never end. Yeah, I remember. It was the best time I ever had. Uncle Ted, I wasn't really sick. I was just like... I don't feel so good. Oh, no. <laughs> now I really am sick. Uh, this isn't fair, Webley. All I wanted to do was spend some time with Mom. Now I'm stuck in bed, and, and the twins have her all to themselves. <coughs> well, s son, you're, uh, you're, you're, you're sick, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, make sure Bobby okay. takes his medicine, Howard. Right oh, I knew I knew that. Okay then, Bobby. Uh, <coughs> you heard your your mother. Oh, that's funny. Roger usually eats anything. I don't want any of that stuff. Oh, you don't? Uh, well, I, I see. Um... Come on, Howard! It's almost tea time! Ted, you don't wear your golf spikes in the house, okay? Oops. <laughs> Sorry, that's a scar. Hey, how about some noogies, Bobby boy? He does it every time, even when you're sick. What's the holdup, Howard? Let's hit the links. Well, we can't go, Ted, until Bobby takes his cough syrup. Is that all? <laughs> hey, leave it to me. You run along Thanks, and hold the well, golf clubs in the Bobby. car. I'll catch up. <laughs> now, Bobby, why don't you just chug it and get it over with? No. Your mom wants you to. No. Roger and Webley want you to. No. I got ten bucks in my wallet that wants you to. Ten dollars? Okay. <laughs> I knew you'd see it my way. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, I forgot my wallet. Hey, uh, how about an I.O.U.? No. I don't blame you, Bobby. Shoot, when I was a kid, I'd do anything not to take my medicine. Really? Like what? Well, I used to tell my mother that if she told me a story, then I might consider it. Now we're talking. Now down the hatch, buckaroo. If you tell me a story, I might consider it. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got it. A horse walks into the Red Cowboy Saloon. See, the bartender takes one look at him and says, uh, Say, partner, why the long face? The end. <laughs> get it? Long face. A horse. Get it? 
Now, pass them lips over them gums. Look out, Tommy, here it comes. I want a real story. Like a, like a fairy tale. Oh, uh, let's see, a fairy tale, huh? Um, uh, all right, uh, let's see, uh, okay. Uh... Once upon a time, a really long time ago, there was a little boy named Jack Beanstalker. Wait a minute. Couldn't Jack be me? Uh, sh yeah, why not? Sure, Bobby Beanstalker. Anyway, Bobby Beanstalker lived alone with his mother, Grundoon. Ah, honey, <laughs> this is your favorite. This is the Twix soup. Wait, couldn't Grundoon be mom? Uh, sure, uh, sure, no problem. Your favorite. Here now, then, yet. Twix soup, don't you know? Thanks. It looks delicious. Oh, for corn sakes, Bobby Beanstalker. If we go on like this, we'll gee golly starve. Now, when you finish supper, I want you to take Roger Cow to market. Sell him for as much as you can and make sure you bring back enough food to last the winter. Mm -hmm. So Bobby Beanstalker traded his cow for a handful of beans and his mother got really angry and threw the beans out the window. Then she took Bobby Beanstalker to a therapist and they lived happily ever after the end. Okay, bottoms up, Bobbo. What about the part where Bobby Beanstalker gets lost in the woods on the way to the market? Oh, oops, that might eat right through the wood. <laughs> uh, yeah, lost in the woods. Uh, okay, yeah, I forgot that part. Yeah, right. Phew, that was a close one. There's nothing to be scared of, Roger Cow. Hi there, little fella. What are you doing in these creepy old woods? I seem to be lost. Hey, who are you, mister? I'm, uh, uh... Uncle Ted? Maybe he could be Geppetto. Uh, whatever. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that's it. My name's, uh, Geppetto. I'm, lo I'm lost, too. Hold on, hold on. Uncle Ted, what's going on here? What do you mean? Well, why is that bird biting Bobby Beanstalker? Oh, <laughs> that was just a woodpecker. Uh, did I forget to mention that uh, Bobby Beanstalker was a wooden puppet? Yeah, he was made out of wood, see, and uh, his middle name uh, was Pinocchio, see? He was a puppet. Oh. Okay. This is getting good. Okay, so like I was saying, uh, Pinocchio and Geppetto decided to team up. Uh, they were kind of like their own little union, you know, except no health plan. Excuse me, could you, like, kindly direct me to Grandma's place? Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Uncle Ted, who's she? And why does she want to go to Grandma's place? Uh, because. Because why? Uh, because Grandma's is a fast food restaurant and uh, the kids are looking for a place to eat, okay? That's why. Oh, why didn't you say so in the first place? I'm sorry, but, but we don't know of any such place. Oh, well, that's okay. I'll just sit here. Oh, stop! Oh, what's the problem, Bobbo? You're scaring me. Oh, <laughs> oh, sorry, kiddo. Well, anyway, uh, the wolf uh, moves in on uh, Pinocchio. And at the last second, well, then here comes Geppetto. And he jumps in waving a big stick, see? So then the wolf uh, chases after him instead. And uh, then stuff really gets weird. Uncle Ted! Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, so while uh, the wolf is chasing Geppetto, Pinocchio and his cow get away. All right, you already know what happens after that. So here's mud in your eye, Babo. Wait! What now? My golf game starts in five minutes. You gotta take your medicine. No, I don't. You forgot the best part. Oh, I did? Yeah. The story isn't over yet, Uncle Ted. <laughs> it's not? <laughs> now, if this isn't just the g golly cutest thing I ever saw. And how's my little patient doing? Oh, great, just, just great. <laughs> In fact, Bobby was just about to take his medicine. No, I wasn't. Uncle Ted hasn't finished the story yet. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> hey, here's a crazy idea. Why don't you finish the story, sis? Yeah, Mom! Well, you know, I'd love to, but I have to powder the twins' bun wads. You boys have fun now. 
Let's see. Pinocchio and his cow were about to meet, uh, uh, you tell me, Bobbo. Hansel and Gretel. Great, fine, okay. In another part of the forest. Where are you headed, brainless? I'm on the way to the market with my cow. Mm. <laughs> what do you take me for, a dweeb like you? That's no cow. That's a dog with phony horns. Oh! Uh, he, he's, a, he's a special breed. I'm gonna trade him for some food. Like, thank you so very much. We're starving to death, and he starts talking about food. Knock it off! Hey, if we can find Grandma's place, there'll be enough food for all of us! Food! Oh, be right! This is great! The place was packed, and watching over everybody was Grandma. Hey, she looks just like Aunt Ruth. <laughs> yeah, kind of scary, huh? Oh, you're so cute, I could just... Is it just me, or is that a pretty terrifying thing to say to a kid? I don't allow people to bring cows into Grandma's place. Oh, he is not with me. I don't know how he got in here. Uncle Ted, he just lied. Shouldn't his nose grow? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever you want. Oh, you shouldn't fib to Grandma. Oh, I'm stuffed. Yeah, like totally ditto. Oh, well, I see you two have really enjoyed my cooking. Sure totally. did. Then here's your bill. Uh, like, we don't have any money. Well, then you're mine to do with as I please. <laughs> you're going to stuff that reconstituted green filling into those Wheaties, make the synthetic chocolate chips for my artificial brownies, and help me ruin the appetites of little boys and girls everywhere. Hansel and Gretel after that, Uncle Ted. Did they get away? Uh, no. Uh, they stayed and worked their way up to branch managers before opening their own franchise and getting filthy rich. Okay, open up, Bobby boy, to your health. Oh, come on, Bobby. I mean, what's the worst that could happen if he just drank this stuff? I don't know, Roger. Should I take it? Mm. Okay. Here goes nothing. I won't take it! I won't! That's it! <laughs> I don't want to have to do this, but... See? Nothing to it. Gosh. What did I tell you, Bobo? No problem. <laughs> now come on. Take a swig. Uh, uh. <laughs> Is there a problem here, Ted? I can't get Bobby to take this medicine. <laughs> he sat me up here for hours telling him all sorts of stories. I couldn't take it, Mom, because Uncle Ted didn't give me a glass of water to wash it down with. What? All this time you've been waiting for a stinking glass of water? Oh, here you go, hon. Thanks, Mommy. <laughs> Now that wasn't half bad, was it, Bobby? No. I guess not. Phew, at last. I'm out of here. You can call me. <laughs> oh, I don't feel so good. That's my little leaguer. And how are you feeling, Bobby? I'm still sick, Mom, but not as sick as they are. <laughs> Bob! <laughs> oh, what would I do without you, Bobby? Okay, everybody. Mommy says it's time for you to take your cough medicine. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Get that out of here. Totally okay. Then I guess I'll just have to tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a... Whoa! Hey! Hold it right there! We'll, we'll take, take it! it. We'll, we'll take, take it! It, it no, works no, every no, time! No, 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 no! Bye, everyone! Thanks.
Thanks for watching. Hold it. Hold everything. Hold everything. Okay. Um, uh, Lisa Arnott from Ames, Iowa. Who's that? The winner of the contest. Huh? You don't remember. The dance contest from the beginning of the show, Bobby. <laughs> Lisa, we have nothing for you. And you can pick that up anytime you want. <laughs> what do we have for Ed Merrick from Madison, Wisconsin? Nothing. Wow. How many of these prizes can we give away? As, as many as we want. Great. Bye for now. Make sure you tune in next time. And everybody who does will get nothing. You can't get that from any other show.